Hi students, welcome to the platform of eGurukul and Dr. Bhatia Medical Coaching Institute. I am Dr. Ramya Sri, your Opgain Guru. In this video, I am going to discuss high yielding image based questions, right? So let us quickly discuss some image based questions in this, in this video. So you know, this is very important to, uh, you also got this question in the previous INE CET, that is how to determine the position of the fetal head, right? So determining the position of the fetal head is very important. So I kept this question so that we understand how to determine the position of the fetal head as well as we know how to answer the management. So let us see the question. What will be the mode of delivery for the following position? I've observed many times that students have faced difficulty in telling the position of the fetus. Now I'm going to simplify this to you. So how are we going to simplify it? There are three things which we should consider. Three columns. So the, to determine the position. So on the whole you have eight positions. Like a cake here you are dividing the pelvis into eight equal halves. Okay. So depending on which side. Whether it is right side of the pelvis or left side of the pelvis. You get either to fill right or left blank. Okay. Next, you have to determine the denominator of the position, denominator of the presenting part. So, first you should know what is presenting part. So, the part of the fetus which is lying in the lying in the lower uterine segment, that this entire thing is called presentation. When I do PV, whatever I feel first or whatever I palpate, that is called presenting part. On the presenting part, you have a bony prominence to tell which side the baby's head is lying. And that we call it as denominator. So to determine de denominator, remember guys, first ask yourself what is presenting part. So when you know what is presenting part, you will be able to tell what is the denominator. If the denominator is seeing towards or is facing towards the pubic symphysis, you're going to call anterior. If it is towards the sacral promontory, you're going to call it as posterior. So, to determine the position, I ask you to divide things into three boxes. First, you have to ask yourself, what is the presenting part? Once you know the presenting part, you will know the denominator. So, after you do the denominator, whether the denominator is on the right side or left side. Remember, my right, my hand right and the screen right will be ulta or the patient's right will be ulta. Because patient is going to lie opposite to me. So this is the right side of the patient and this is the left side of the patient, right? And then you have to ask yourself whether the denominator is seen towards the pubic symphysis, yeah, sacral promoter. And depending on that, you will give the names anterior, yeah, posterior. Okay, simple. Now let us apply what I have told. So in this picture, so here if we have to start from the lie, so this is a longitudinal lie. When long axis of the fetus corresponds to the maternal spine, you call it as longitudinal lie. So this is longitudinal lie. What is the presentation? So whatever the part of the baby's head, baby is occupying the lower uterine pole, you are going to call it as presentation. So here the presentation is the fetal head. So presentation is cephalic. And in the presentation, Whatever you are going to palpate, that is called as presenting part. When I do PV, whatever I am going to palpate, that I am going to call it as presenting part. So, if I see babies, here I am seeing the baby's face. Here I am seeing the baby's face. So, here the face is the presenting part. So, when I do PV, I am going to feel the baby's face. So, here the presenting part is the face. And face may, what is the denominator? In the face, the denominator is the mentum. So now I got the middle, fill in the blank, that is, that the denominator here is mentum. Now please check which side the mentum is seeing. The mentum, if it is seeing towards the pubic symphysis, you are going to call it as mentum anterior. If the mentum is towards the sacral promontory, you are going to call it as posterior. So here, this is the mentum. So, mentum is towards the sacral promontory. This is sacral promontory. 
and this is the right side of the patient this is the left side of the patient so mentum is facing towards the left side and posterior so this is left mento posterior simple guys i repeat again first ask yourself what is the presenting part so once you determine the presenting part you will know what is the denominator then you have to observe which side is the denominator seeing if the denominator is towards the right side and your right and the screen right or the patient right will be ulta right whether it is right or left and depending on the denominator whether it is towards the pubic symphysis your sacral promontory you're going to call anterior or posterior if the if the if the denominator is facing towards the sacral promontory then you're going to call it as posterior and if the denominator is facing towards the pubic symphysis then you're going to call it as anterior right so this is left mento posterior now comes the question they are asking you what is the they are not asking you what is the position here they are asking you what is the management for this position so what is the management for this position so the management for this position is delivery of the fetal head mento anterior that is when face is fa when face so neck will be basically extended here when mentum is towards the pubic symphysis you can conduct vaginal delivery but the only thing there will be delivery of the fetal head will be by flexion but here it is mento posterior so mento posterior what will be the mode of delivery so mento posterior you are going to go for lscs there is no mechanism of labor for mento posterior so mento posterior we have to go for lscs whereas mento anterior same cardinal movements it will follow and the delivery of fetal head will be by flexion guys you should know all the cardinal movements because recently in the inect also they have asked you the sequence of the cardinal movements so engagement descent and once it touches the levetrane muscle it undergoes further flexion and then as the levetrane muscle is facing forwards downwards and medially it will undergo what it will undergo internal rotation and then the delivery of the fetal head is by ex crowning you will have crowning followed by delivery of the fetal head will be by extension and once it comes out so same for the face also so face also all the cardinal movements are same except the delivery of the, here mentum will hinge below the pubic symphysis so as the mentum will hinge below the pubic symphysis so as the mentum is below the pubic symphysis here the delivery of the fetal head is not by extension it will be by flexion okay and once it comes out one eighth rotating back is restitution another one eighth rotating back is external rotation external rotation coincides with the internal rotation of the shoulders right so engagement descent further flexion internal rotation then delivery of the fetal head by flexion restitution and external rotation right so if it is mento anterior then the answer would have been delivery of the fetal head by flexion but this is mento posterior mento posterior has no mechanism of labor so mento posterior the answer will be lscs right guys so i hope you enjoyed this image based question discussion and you all understood how to determine the position of the fetal head so they can ask us the position of the fetal head in the exam right so you should be well versed with the position of the fetal head now one more thing guys is face to pubis presentation face to pubis delivery and face presentation same no deep occipital posterior position see here the neck is completely extended face may the neck is completely face present face as the presenting part neck is extended there in face to pubis it is a op position it is a op position i know it is not seen much but it is the op position and neck is in the deflex position not extended it is not this way see here face will be seen like this in face presentation face to pubis may it is vertex only as the presenting part but only thing delivery of the fetal head there also is by flexion 
but vertex is still the presenting part in the face to pubis and it is seen with direct occipital posterior face to pubis delivery seen in direct occipital posterior right so both face presentation and face to pubis are not seen right so see you in the next video with one more mcq and one more discussion thank you guys keep studying work very 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 hard this three months are very crucial for you and any query always feel free to message me i'm there for you thank you guys thank you so much